Hello guys, it's Stealth Niner here with episode 3 of my Minecraft Bucket Server tutorial series. In this episode, I will be covering some of the default bucket commands that are important for running a server. So the first thing you want to do is open up your bucket server folder and run your server. Now while that loads up, you want to open up Minecraft as well and go ahead and uh, just log in so that we can connect to the server. Now once the server loads up, you want to type op, op, and then uh, type in your username. So you want to op yourself like so. Now, that will give you permission to uh, use all of these commands that we are about to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect to the local host. I have it there. You can just type in local host if you'd like to connect to it. Uh, and the first thing you will see is uh, that when we connect, there's a little bit of information about uh, where we are and everything, um, the IP. Now we can also, in this ops.json, you can see that there is a bit of formatting here. Uh, so this is what I was talking about. It's easier just to type in the command than it is to copy these for everything. I do suggest just typing in the command. It's a lot easier. You don't have to look up the UUID, anything like that. You can just easily type it in. It will find all the information for you and uh, you can use that. So the first thing we want to do is type slash help and this shows you all of the commands that you're able to use. Uh, so if you do slash help, uh, let's say five, it will bring you to the fifth page. And we're not gonna cover all of these, there are 11 pages, there's a lot of different commands that come with a bucket server, uh, but we will eventually get to uh, some of them. So the next thing we want to do is, uh, say you want to ban a player, uh, you do slash ban and then their username. Now you can use the tab complete, so if you just press tab, it will complete it. So we're gonna go ahead and ban ourselves, and uh, you can see it was banned by admin. Now in order to pardon ourselves, we're gonna have to do slash pardon, or just pardon in the command prompts to do pardon, and uh, the username, like so, and it will pardon us now you can do that with IPs as well, so uh, if you do slash ban dash IP and you type in the IP uh, right here, you would do then, you know, you'd have the IP there. So uh, say there's someone that has multiple accounts, then they wouldn't be able to connect with the same IP. Uh, you can also do pardon IP, so you just do slash pardon IP and whatever the IP is here. The next is slash clear. So if we go ahead and give ourselves some items, if we do slash clear, uh, you can clear other players' items. So you just type in the player name here, but you can just do slash clear if you'd like to clear your own inventory. And you can see that it removes the items from our inventory. Next is slash give. If you want to give yourself items, so let's say uh, give firework and um, we will do 64. Now we do need to specify a player, so if we do give Delta 4 9 our firework, it will give us 64 fireworks. Uh, now they won't really do much, but we do have fireworks now. You can give yourself, uh, let's say, give yourself cobblestone. You can give yourself 32 cobblestone. There you go. You don't need to type in the name. You can type in the ID of the item. Uh, the names are sometimes difficult to figure out so the IDs of all the items are good to know. I will leave a link to this nice website that allows you to search for the name of the item or the ID of the item and uh, look it up so you can use it uh, to type in like, things like slash give. Next is uh, the slash op which we did use this in the command prompt but if you want to op someone you would just do slash op and uh, you would have to actually type that in there. Now, as you can see, you can op anyone. Uh, I mean, I didn't even op my correct username and it lets me op it. I can op Notch or something and it'll let me op them so that if those usernames ever connect, then uh, they will actually be op. So you can see it's all in here. All that information is right there. Now, the next thing is the deop. So let's say we want to deop Notch and we want to deop Delt. 249er there. We can deop them and they're no longer ops. Next is the slash kick. So let's kick ourselves. So if we just kick ourselves, there you go. Kicked by an operator. Uh, you can then reconnect, of course. It's not like a ban where you wouldn't be able to reconnect if you were still banned. You can do slash kill and uh, you can just, oh, darn. Looks like it hurt. You can kill yourself there. 
Next thing is uh, the slash list command. So if there were more than just me on, it would actually list them all, but you can see that I am the only one on and uh, it will list all of the players that are online. There are some plugins that make this a little bit more fancy. There's a lot of plugins that make all of these things more fancy, which we'll get into eventually once we get into some plugins. Slash say allows you to broadcast a server message. So if we do that, uh, it will actually broadcast it as um, a different color, a little bit easier to see like, oh look, there's this guy and he's talking and he's important. Next is the save all command. This will save the world and it will force it to save. Now if you do slash save off, it will actually turn off the automatic saving and save on will turn on the automatic saving there. Slash TP allows you to TP to someone. So uh, let's say I want to TP to myself. I can't really TP to myself. I mean, I could, but it'll just bring me here. Uh, then I can do just TP there. If I want to TP someone else to me or I want to TP someone else to another person, you can do uh, like their name. Let's do Delt again uh, to, let's say, you know, myself. And that will actually TP them to me or TP them to someone else, depending on what you enter. Next is weather. So if you want to change the weather, you can do weather, rain. Uh, so it will be rainy. Oh, darn. You can also do slash weather clear and it will clear up the weather. Next is slash time. So if you want to do slash time set, uh, let's say time set 6,000, uh, it will become day. If you do slash time and add, let's say add 20,000, uh, it will add 20,000 to the time. Let's see if we can get something that is nighttime here. How about 12,000? There we go. So we added 12,000 ticks to the time. The next thing is the whitelist. This is fairly important. So if we go ahead and do slash whitelist on, it will turn on the whitelist. Whitelist off will turn it off. Let's go ahead and turn it on though. Whitelist add and the player name will add a player to the whitelist. And if you want to remove them, you simply do whitelist remove and the player name. Now, the ops are always allowed to join, so if you are an op and the whitelist is on but you're not on the whitelist, you actually will still be able to join. So let me de-op myself here and then go ahead and leave and go to multiplayer and join the server and it will say you are not whitelisted on this server. So you have to be whitelisted if the whitelist is on. If we go ahead and op ourselves in the command prompt and try to join one more time, you can see that it allows us to join even though we're not on the whitelist still. We can also go ahead and turn the whitelist off, and there you go. So that's really it for the important commands when it comes to managing a server, at least for the default bucket commands. If you would like any more information about other commands, there are a lot of other ones like XP, and you can give yourself XP and all. Uh, but again, those are just sort of for the game I'm talking about uh, for managing the server. And if you'd like me to go over any other commands, even if they are just for the game, you can let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know other topics you'd like me to cover in this series, other bucket things uh, related to plugins or just bucket in general. Let me know. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Minecraft Bucket Server tutorial series. If you did find this helpful, a like and a share would be greatly appreciated. I would like to get the word out about this series a bit more, so if you could share it, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you are not already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming, tutorials, and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.